uh, making a murder such a phenomenon. I have a bone to pick with you guys because on New Year's Eve, I decided to watch one of I try to be uh, like, let me just see what this is about. I ended up staying on my couch for 10 hours watching this murder thing. I didn't go to sleep until like 10 a.m. Are you hearing this from a lot of people that they've been up like 1 to 10? No. So I try to just do that and laugh as much as I can with my friends. For people who are here, we're talking about our viewers, but seriously, I mean, we, you know, it's interesting. It goes crazy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, it's quite, you know, it's, it's an elaborate, you know, prep story that spans 30 years. People will want to take their time with it. And, you know, we've, we've found, you know, it's quite the opposite. It's interesting. It's kind of um, you're nominated for, I think, six Emmys tonight, including you know, the big one, Best Documentary Nonfiction. What would it mean if you guys took home you know, one of these awards, or the one award? What would that mean for you guys? It would just be part of the end of an incredible journey. And we started this almost 11 years ago now. And, you know, we borrowed cameras for our sister, with their cameras. You know, just doing the best we could with whatever we had. You know, we just stuck with it. And, you know, a step of the way, a little better. But the idea is the partnership with Netflix allowed us to tell it as a series, put it in 10 episodes, get it out to the global audience. And then the fact that the audience were engaged. I'm going to the prom. I want to go this way. Um, what's the last? What's the update on Brenda Jackson? He got released. Is that right? No, actually, a federal judge overturned his conviction. But just recently, the state filed what's called a notice of appeal. So they intend to appeal that decision to the Seventh Circuit, which is held in court in the federal system. So it remains to be seen what will happen with that case. And it's, you know, it is a very trying time for all the subjects in the film. We wish the best for all. One last question before you go in. I've talked to a lot of people at parties or friends, and some people are convinced. Stephen's guilty. Some people are convinced he's innocent. So it, it really creates this, this conversation that people have. Where do you guys fall on the, on the scale of innocent guilt? I mean, I'm more concerned with the fact that I have so many questions about what happened to this woman. And, you know, I, I would like answers to those questions. I think she deserves to rely on I don't know where the police... Don't trip. Don't trip. Well, best of luck. We're, we're, season two's coming, right? We are in the world. Yeah, we're, we're in production. production. So maybe 2017? <laughs> still to, still yeah. to be determined. Yeah. Well, good luck, sir. Thank you so much.